Okay, so this video is to help you draw figures and it's called posed figures because quite often we tend to draw our figures like this. So with their legs apart and their arms out to the side and facing straight on. You try standing like that. It doesn't happen very often and it's not very comfortable. And when you look around you, most people won't look like this. To get away from that, we're going to imagine that everybody has these stick line lines down the front of their body. So you're going to imagine down the middle of your body you've got a long straight line. Down the front of each arm there's a line too, down each leg, and your head is an oval. This is just one way to draw a body, there's lots and lots of ways, but hopefully this is going to get a bit more action into your figures. So once you've imagined this stick man running down the front of this person's body, you've got to remember that these lines can bend. When your person moves, so do the lines. And if you want to make your figures look more like they're doing something, then your lines need to bend too. Have a look around your class now and use your imagination. I bet there aren't many people stood up with their legs out to the side and their arms. I bet they're sat with their legs crossed and knees are crossing over each other. I bet some of them are bent over or twisted to the side. Our bodies can make all sorts of shapes and when you're trying to draw more naturally, it's really good if you can get some of that action and shape into your drawing too. So, I'm going to use this little guy because I won't have one of you to model for me. Um, but you need to look at your friends and draw from them. Or use a photograph of somebody and imagine those lines down the front of them. If you ask your teacher nicely, I've done this before, they might let somebody put a masking tape stick figure down the front of your clothes. And that makes it really clear the different ways all your limbs and hands and head are moving. Even your head will turn different directions. All of a sudden, like he looks like he's leaping now, doesn't he? Okay, but very, very rarely, unless, I don't know, trying to stop something moving, are you going to stand like that? Okay, so let's get our figure all bent up into an action. I think I might have him bending down to pick something up. What do you think? So I'm going to look at this line first and I can see that his back is bent like that but actually his head is scooped up a bit. Now I've got a very dark pencil here just so it shows up on the camera. These would be your tickle the spider lines very very gently because in the end we'd probably want to rub out our stick man when we turn it into a more accurate looking figure. And his knee is bent up like this. You've probably got a slightly different angle on this to me. And this knee is coming forward and twisted round. And he'd probably have his foot like that, wouldn't he? I reckon he's even got a hand reaching for something. Do you I think this hand might be out? Okay. You can try lots and lots of different poses. Maybe somebody's jumping. And waving. They'll be stretched out and their arms won't be totally straight even then. Head tipped back. Again, little spidery lines can help you find those figures. Let's try one more over here. Let's do that cross leg like we were talking about if you're sat down. Lots of you guys sit with your legs crossed on the carpet. Your hands down by your sides. Maybe you're putting your hand up to answer a question. Let's put the other hand up. That one's been up a lot today. Okay, head tip to the side. Follow that line down the body. And then I can see the legs are going out. 
and over. Hands are off to the side like that. Not perfectly straight, still got a bit of a kink. And if I think my line's not quite right, I can change it. But these really are little spidery, sketchy lines just to capture the movement, the pose of your figure. How are they actually sat like that? Okay? Once you've got this sort of stick man skeleton and you think you like the action that you've got going on, then you can think how to make these look more like a real figure. So, I'd like you to imagine that the top half of your body, this part, is like slightly wide box, wide at the top and a little bit narrower at your hips. So where your shoulders are, it goes narrow down to your waist. And you can start adding your body in like that. Now this one's difficult because he's stretched up and his big wide body has got stretched up there. So you might need to look again. This part of your body, your hips and your bottom where your legs join on, gets a little bit wider in the other direction. And again, it might be tipped. You can almost think of it like a sort of little pair of shorts. Try and box out that body. You can start adding on the shapes of the legs. They start wide and get thinner at the knees and your knees are a little bit like a ball, a little bit round. And the same here where your calves are a little bit wider and down to the base of your leg. You can see I'm still using my little spidery lines, thinking now about how his toes would bend on the end of his foot. The best way to get these drawn accurately is to use a real model, is to look at a real person or a photograph of a real person because you'll see that their arms get thinner at the elbow, a little bit of a joint where you bend, it often looks like a curve there, so it's nice to draw a little round shape to make sure you get that curve. And pay attention to where her thumbs and fingers and hands are. Okay, your head and neck comes out a little bit wider. And if you're looking, there we are, to the head, then you can even start to think, like we've done in the early ones, of how that face might be faced down like that. So you'd want his face on that side. Now I know my lines have got very dark and I will be able to go in with a rubber and tidy them up. You can start to see how that might look more like a person doing something. Okay, just by adding little boxes and sausages to my stick man. I hope that's helped. Have fun.